Okay, here's the 1.6 liter engine for the 2014 Kia Rio and uh, other years as well. And the the uh, oil air separator goes into the PVC line here. This was all one piece from the factory. Comes out of the PCV valve, goes through this hose, carries along here, and goes into the intake, which is down there, kind of hard to see, but it connects to the intake manifold, so it, it's constantly recirculating oil, which ends up getting on the underside of the valves, which never get cleansed with uh, gasoline, and it just eventually builds up uh, carbon and, and crud, and will uh, hamper the performance and fuel economy of the car. So, our JEGS um, oil air separator is right here. It's about four inches high uh, by about maybe an inch and a half wide. It comes with a couple of brass fittings. Um, it comes with straight brass fittings, but I put a, a 90 degree one on this side. And I've had this uh, for a couple of weeks now and as you can see it's collecting oil. There's about an ounce of oil there. And you'll see a little filter inside which is what the air pulls through when it's connected to the PVC system. Um, so all we have to do in order to install this is simply Cut the um, cut the line here, um, and uh, and then it'll fit right in here very very neatly. And I'll show you how that goes. Right, got to put the camera down for a second. Okay, here's a picture of the air oil separator pushed into the hose on each side. It's marked inlet uh, over over here on the body, so you know that this is. Uh, where to attach the hose. This is the inlet, this is the outlet. And as you can see it's uh, gathered some water. Now this this body here is metal but the uh, down here it's a uh, hard impact plastic and they tell you in the instructions not to let it get too hot so what I've done is I've made a little um, insulator sleeve to go over the the bottom of it like so just to protect it from the engine heat and I have it uh, sitting right like so doesn't move when the car is running and uh, the way it's designed is the oil will come down the inlet here and it will drop down along the sides of the glass not going through the filter but the oil will drop to the bottom and at the same time that's happening suction from the intake manifold is coming is pulling pulling the air uh, through the filter and then back into the intake minus any oil. All the oil is being trapped here so you're uh, allowing oil free air to go back into the intake which is highly beneficial on a GDI engine. Now to uh, drain the oil you can either use the little uh, petcock on the bottom or you can unscrew the glass bowl and then just dump it out. So I'm going to put the camera down again while I unscrew the, the bowl and then we can take a look at uh, what's inside the bowl itself. Okay, I've unscrewed the bowl and uh, as you can see it's collecting oil. 
Now that's oil that is impure. It's been through the combustion process, so it's got some acid in it and uh, other impurities. So um, typically, I, I dispose of that in a, in my burn barrel. But just for this sake, I'm going to dump it over here on the ground, and it'll soak in after it, it's rained. But about an ounce accumulated within a few weeks. And here's a closer look at the filter without the bowl on. It's a 20 micron filter. This part here uh, turn, uh, unscrews and then you can take the filter off and, uh, and you can clean it in uh, hot water and detergent and then put it back on. It's uh, it's a cleanable filter and when it does come to the point of needing a new filter you can get that through JEGS as well. So that's the JEGS um, oil air, fil uh, air uh, oil separator. Um, there are some on the market which are much much bigger they're called catch cans um, they do exactly the same thing, except it'll be pretty hard to fit it in here because they're, some of them are 12 inches high. And uh, Ideally, you want your oil-air separator as close as possible to the PVC and intake, so this just seems like a really ideal uh, place to put it. Also in the package came a little mounting bracket in case you wanted to screw it to the side of something but I find that um, when I've got my my little uh, homemade uh, insulating sleeve on there it'll it'll just sit right here very conveniently I hope that helped um, the cost was I think fifty one dollars I think it's well worth it make the engine uh, theoretically last longer, perform better, get better gas mileage, and um, keep the uh, valves nice and clean. Thank you.